Happy New Year, everyone. It's January 2018. And guess who I have with me? One of my favorites is Christian. He's here for um, the Christmas break, and he's having his skin worked on. And we're going to do his face this time. I asked him, I said, what do you want me to work on? And he said, oh, I'd like for you to work on my on my face. So um, so glad to see you, Christian. And as I know that all the viewers are going to be very excited to kind of get an update from you. So basically, he's having, um, you know, some issues with blackheads at this point. So his acne, first per se, is really resolving very nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and um, probe the skin and open up these areas for him. And, of course, for you guys, too. Today, believe it or not, it's a beautiful sunny day in Texas, even though we did have some stormy weather. It actually snowed. Can't believe it. It didn't stick to the ground or anything, but hey, we take it that way because we hardly ever get snow in, in Central Texas. All right. So again, um, want to stretch that skin and really get at the base. And let's see how he's doing with this. So this one's a little bit more stubborn, so I'm gonna go ahead and probe a little more. Make sure we get underneath there. There we go. How are you doing, Christian? Doing great. So, tell us the good news. When are you uh, graduating? Oh, I'm um, expected to graduate in May. Yay! Mm -hmm. Well, we're really happy for you. And so, what's your next step? Uh, the next step is uh, hopefully med school. Yay! Yes. <laughs> Super. What are you wanting to specialize in? Uh, neurology. Oh, that's awesome. I know you're going to be amazing at what you do. Thank you. It runs in the family, doesn't it? Yes, grandfather. Super. Okay, we're going to keep working through here. So if there's any estheticians that are watching, uh, you, again, you just have to really want to stretch that skin. And the the type of Q-tip that I use, it's um, it's a cotton tip applicator. It's I use a sterile one, six inch. Uh, it has the wooden stick. Don't use you know the regular one that you buy in the store because it will bend. It does not have the capacity to withhold uh, withhold the pressure. And so you want to make sure that you use one that uh, it is a wood stick applicator, okay? And just get at the base of that um, lesion, and they really come up really quickly. So you can see that's already cleaned out. We're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and move over in uh, this area. It's called the glabella area, and I am going to probe um, 27 gauge needle, half inch. stretch at that base 
And there we go. You're holding up okay, Christian? I'm doing great. Small ones through here. All right, so I'm going to start working on this little area through here so that I can just kind of clean this little section here. Again, I'm going to stretch that skin. 27 and uh, 27 gauge half inch needle um, bevel up in an angle about a 35 degree angle and get right in that pore you don't have to make this huge incision if you prime and prep that skin that's just for us our protocol that's very vital um, my my philosophy is less trauma is much better for the skin. We don't have to deal so much with the secondary condition of a post-inflammatory problem. So um, priming and prepping that skin is just essential. And that would be with a, a wash. We use a glycolic wash uh, to prime and prep that skin. Make sure you guys can see this. It's a little cluster. Okay, so I'm, what I'm doing is really um, making sure that in between that, those clusters, there's little tiny ones, and so I'm gonna go ahead and get those two. To the really to the naked eye, you can't see it hardly, but I um, have these amazing glasses um, that are magnified, and so I'm able to see. I'm going to go through here. Another thing that I always like to tell um, the esthetician is to really make sure that you cut your nails straight at the, really at the base. <laughs> me and my, that word base, sorry, makes me want to laugh. But, um, of your nail because uh, you don't want to leave nail marks on your clients. And of course, always wear you know your gloves to protect yourself. I'm gonna work around uh, the brow area. This could be a little area that's a little sensitive.
these are really ready to come out. Another thing, just um, for the for you know, just for the esthetician and for someone that you know is is wanting to do extractions on on themselves, or just make sure that you take the time to open them. Don't you know you don't have to put so much pressure on that skin. They'll come out. Just make sure that you do take that time to to open them. You'll love your work for it and your patient will love you for it. And of course, uh, make sure that you switch out uh, your cotton tip applicators so that they're not soiled, because if they're soiled, they're gonna slip. Almost done with this area here on the forehead. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us and for subscribing to my channel and just appreciate your support, really do. We're gonna record again. Um, it's gonna come back in tomorrow and we're gonna do another section for you guys to have of you. Hope you have a wonderful and amazing day today. I'll be safe. And uh, if you have not looked me up on Facebook, I'm really trying to grow my Facebook page. So if you can, uh, and if you don't mind doing me that favor, uh, please go to my Facebook page and hit like, share our videos with the other viewers. Appreciate it. And have a blessed day. Love you guys.